Quick and easy do it, fish pies or fish samosa. Come on into Jenny's Walk, let's make some lovely fish samosa using fresh mackerel fish. Come on in, let's get cooking. Okay foodies, so let's make that dough now to make, that's the skin part as you would say, or the dough to make this lovely fish fish pie. So I'm gonna go in with just one cup of all-purpose flour. There you go. And I like to sieve it so it gets really smooth finish. Kosher salt. And I want to add some sugar. And I'm going to give this a good mix. I'm going to eyeball one teaspoonful of oil in there. And to bring this dough together, this is hot water. I give it a 120 a minute and 20 seconds in the microwave. Now it's hot, so be careful, not boiling, almost the point of boiling, that is how I'm going to be using it. And you notice I didn't use any baking powder. You don't need any baking powder for this dough, but what gives the dough that lovely textured end result is to die for. So look at the video to the end and you will understand what's really going on. Don't miss any detail. So in goes my hot water a little at a time. Be careful now. No baking powder, as I mentioned. There you go, a little at a time. And it's hard if you want to use a spatula to bring it together, that's fine. So let me just bring this dough in. Okay, so this is what my dough looked like. It all came together. Now, this is a very important part. You're gonna knead and stretch, knead and stretch. You're going to do this for five good minutes. So there you go, foodies, our lovely dough. Just bring it together. It's, it feels very warm to the touch in your hand. I put a little oil in there and I want to add my dough and put a little more oil, just like so. Yep. Now I want to put this into a plastic bag and put it into the microwave and let it sit there. If you have uh, those shower caps that you use in the kitchen to cover, you could put that shower cap on and we want to leave it in there for a good one hour. Okay, foodies, so to make this lovely uh, fish pie here, I have, um, this is mackerel, fresh mackerel. I give it a good wash and cut and all of that. So I have it here in some boiling water. I am just only going to add some chili. That's a hot chili. This is some oregano. Oops, missed that. And I'm going to add a little salt. This is some kosher salt. I want to boil this very well, and then we're going to take it to another step. Okay, foodie, so here I have some mint and parsley, garlic, and I have one red onion, and here I have a chive, and I'm going to dice all these up really nicely. So here is that boiled mackerel. So what we're going to do now, foodies, I'm going to take all the meat off and take all the bones out of it and take the skin out of it also. And this will be our filling. So I'm going to look cl closely and give it a good squeeze, make it show all those uh, bones out because you don't want to be eating your fish pie or your fish samosa, whatever name you want to call it, and you bite into any bone in there. So let me finish up and this is what it's going to be looking like. Okay, foodies, so my pot is up on the heat, my old heavy uh, saucepan. So I'm going to add in all my onion, my garlic and all my fresh herbs. We're going to give it a quick saute. If I can. And to this, I want to add, here I have I have turmeric, some fish masala, some chili flakes, and some jeera powder. I want to infuse this. This smells really nice now. So in goes my fish. This is all that mackerel fish that I got. And I want to add in now some of that jam cocoa from Jamaica. Some lime ginger juice. So we're going to cut back that freshness. A nice little tablespoon, no teaspoon, sorry. Yeah, and I'm going to add my salt, a little salt, not too much kosher salt, because we boil it up with some salt, remember that. And here we have that crayfish to give it some nice little flavors back into its uh, very little herbs, 
more spices I put into it. Now I'm going to raise the heat and let this cook down really nicely for five minutes. Okay, so this is what our filling look like. Our mackerel filling, it smells really great. I love it and it tastes marvelous. And our dough, I had it in the plastic bag as I mentioned to you. So we're going to use our surface right here. I'm going to take that dough out and let's just roll it out with our rolling pin or our bilna. We drop the paratan or the dry flour. That is what it is. And let's just roll this out. Are you seeing me there, foodies? There you go. So this is like a samosa, a fish samosa. Some of you may say fish pie. It's about the same thing. So I'm going to do it like a samosa for you to enjoy. We don't want it too thin because we do not want it to break. So this looks about good. So I'm going to take one of my cup and I'm just going to cut some circles out. Did you see that foodies? Yep. So let me finish up those circles. So there we go. This is all our circles. Now just pull all this off. And this is what we'll be working with. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. There you go. And this is our filling. And I have a generous amount of oil in the fire warming up nicely. So we're going to put our filling in here. Our fish filling. We're going to bring the sides up and pinch them in nicely. Just like so. Close it up. And it's a little triangle. Now you're going to bring this side up. Don't worry, we're going to fix all of that. And you pinch it just like so. And there you go. And then this one is pinched. There you go. Cute little samosa. Now you're just going to put a little more pressure on it. And that is your fish samosa. Nice little triangle. Let me do one more. Put it in right there. In goes that filling. We're going to bring the sides together until the middle of it, just like so. Pinch it in. Pinch that whole thing in. Then the bottom part, you're going to bring in the bottom, just there like a triangle. And then you're going to reinforce it so it don't pop open when you start frying. <laughs> so let me finish it up now, foodies. Now it's time to fry. So after you make all your lovely samosa, you let them rest for like 15 minutes. You get that oil at a nice medium high heat. And now we're going to give it a lovely fry. You don't want to crowd the pot too much because you want to allow them space in there to get a lovely fry. Lovely samosa here or fish samosa or fish pies, whatever name you want to call it. Here from Jenny's Walk. Simple and easy to do it. Lovely potluck you can do. Even time snack. You see how it already changed color. So now you could give it a little flip. And you could also enjoy this with any dipping sauce. So you could just enjoy it just as it is. It's no big deal. You enjoy how you like. And I do things differently. You see I add my spices in there with very little herb. The only three herbs we use, which was those three mentioned there as I chop it really nicely. But I use more spices to bring great flavors out of it. So there you go, it looks really nice. That one get a little open up there. And our flour, we didn't knead it with any baking powder. And that's a lovely brown there, beautiful crisp. I'm gonna let it get a little more brown and this will be ready to take out. Lovely recipe here from Jenny's Walk, fish samosa, fish pie, uh, fish empanada, whatever name you want to call it. The longer you let them rest, is more crispy you're going to get. There you go, one, two, three, I think we could do four. So you got the idea, my dear foodies, how you're going to fry this up. Nice medium heat, don't overcrowd your pan. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> 
so let me finish up and we're going to do a lovely presentation for you this is jenny here from jenny's walk making a lovely quick and easy snack here for you so there you go foodies our lovely fish pie or fish samosa look at that goodness look at the crust you see how crunchy and nice this crust is without using baking powder use that hot water make that dough and there you go lovely divine i don't even want to eat any because i'm so full i ate two already <laughs> my dear food is simple and easy do it great for a potluck great for a snack great to take to the park it's summertime quick and easy do it get together with your family and you need something quick and easy there you go lovely fish samosa or fish pie from jenny's walk so thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking